Welcome, welcome, my viewers, to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, all the way from Minnesota, USA. I love the Lord as my personal Lord and Savior. And uh, I was not forced. I made a decision. I must say that when I got saved, the preacher had come in my school. I was in boarding school, Kaboy Girls in Kiabu. And after the sermon, it was about the rich man and uh, Lazarus. And I was in that position that I could have accepted when they asked for autocall, but I did not. I went to my dormitory, took a small Gideon Bible, it was green in color, and I opened instruction. And I read. Psalms 32, verse 8, and that's where I'll be sharing from. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday, I bring inspirational word. Thursdays, celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays, like today, putting on the right gear for the weekend. You might wonder, how does putting on the right gear for the weekend has to do with Psalms 32, verse 8? Wait a minute, you will be able to know. Why put on the right gear for the weekend? Weekend does not necessarily mean Saturday, Sunday. It can mean any time. When you know that you are alive, you've been given, you are created by God to glorify him. And if you take your life like a car or like an aeroplane that need a pilot, like a motorcycle that need someone to drive it, anything that is drivable, anything that is able to transport, or to be in motion from one point to another. Putting yourself in such a situation, you'll be able to grasp what I'm trying to share. Putting on the right gear for the weekend. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I share, let this inspiration be a blessing to my viewer and my listener. Thank you, Jesus. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. I lift you high up, O Lord, for you say that when you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Today, I'll be focusing on traffic rights. Traffic rights. Yes. We have green, go. We have yellow, decide. You have a moment. That you can go or stop. Then red. Red is stop period or full stop from the other side. You cannot move. You know, if I want to demonstrate, if I want to move forward like this. Or backward or the side. There is something I have to do. Traffic rights. Let me read the scripture. This is what it says. Psalms 32 verse 8. By the way, this was my first first that I read when I trusted the Lord. It was in the month of May 25th. I always say that is my spiritual birthday and I can sing. Ananio Gozamigu 
Si kuku, si kuku, ya kwa shwana, biza good. Hallelujah. Happy day, happy day. Yeah, putting on the right gear for the weekend, you have the instructions. Traffic rights. How does that apply in our right, in our lives? Today being Friday. Maybe you are preparing to travel somewhere. Maybe you are preparing to celebrate with your friends. Are you putting on the right gear so that you do not go when there is a red sign? In our spiritual life, God has God have spiritual rights to guide us. And that is what this word is there for from Genesis to Revelation. There are times that God wants you to put a stop to be still before him. And not move. There are times that God gives you a chance to choose what to do. There are times that God put a green sign for you to go. There is a green light for you to pass. And let me also say this. May I pray very well to all people of walks of life and age irrespective. Let's come to young people when you want to get married. You look for that spouse. You see like they are really the right ones. But a time comes, there are some counselors who counsel you and they say, it doesn't seem like you guys are compatible. It doesn't seem like you guys are ready. But there is that time you want to go. You are really there. You want to go with that speed. And if there is zero sign, it is time for you to prepare to stop or to go. There are times that you can decide, yes, I'm going to get married to that, this woman. I'm going to get married to this man. Yet you do not even know what is waiting. I can give you an example of... Samson. Samson saw a woman, Delilah. Good thing he came and told the, house, the, 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 the parents. And the parents asked him, is there not a woman? Is there not one of our people? Ah, Samson said, get me her. We have many young people who say, it is now. I have confirmed. Oh, yes. Then later on you start crying. And many people cry for their marriage, for their marriage. God was not in it. So stop crying. Let it go. Let go and let God. Now, how about business? How about ministry? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> All these things. You start a business. It's not that you had God convincing you to start a business. But because you saw it booming with other people, you thought it is the right one. It was. It is for other people, not yours. Be still and know when God speaks. Let me give a good example. There are many people who have talked to me about starting a church. But I know that is not my call. My call is out. I'm called to reach many out there. And I have had many challenges. People have even said we can be with you. I am not going to go because they are telling me. I am going to go because I know what God has called me to do. It is a good thing that you know who you are. Just like a driver. You have to have a driver's license to drive. In this life, if whatever you do, you must have a word that will guide you in this. Don't just go into ministry because your parents are. No. Your parents' call is not your call. And for you parents, stop forcing children. That because you know engineer and doctor, all those kind of things, pilot, those have good names in the community. Hey, doctors, no. Let your children be where God wants them to be. It does not mean that children have to be like you if you are a doctor. That they have to be like you if you are a pastor. We will just pray for them and God will guide them. Because God does not work on with, with photocopies. He will work with the originals. Let us put on the right gear for the weekend. So that you know when to stop, when to go, and when to decide whether I'm going to go or not. Otherwise, you can cause the greatest devastating accident in your spiritual life. If you go when it's red, God has said, do, not now. This is not the time. I like the man David, a man after God's own heart. Do you know how many times God inqu David inquired from the Lord? It is recorded in the word of God. Fifteen times God, uh, no, David inquired from the Lord, wanting to know, is this the time that I should do this? Is this the time that I should go to war? Is this the time I should do this? Can we have a woman? Can we have a man? Can we have a minister? Can we have a reader who can ask, God, is this the time for me to go? That's a traffic right out there, spiritually. 
And that's why we have this word telling you, you as a man, you as a business person, you as a student, I will instruct you. Not only instruct you, but will teach you <coughs> in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. Hallelujah. God will guide you. All you have to do is to hold on the steering of, of your life, t testifying of the Lord, making sure that you are not ashamed of the gospel, and God will guide you through whatever you want to do. There is a, when there is a green light, you will feel the peace. One of the things that God speaks to us, and you know it is God, you have peace. But if you have the struggle, Stop it. Wait for God. Maybe that could be the right man. That could be the right business. That could be the right ministry. But it's not the right time. It is the right thing, but not the right time. That requires you to wait. Wait. Maybe that could be a red, <clears throat> a red traffic light. The green light will always come. You know, there are some times I don't know what normally happens that you are seated, that, that you are driving and there is a the red light, and they stay, and they stay, and they stay, and you wonder what is happening. You know, if you decide, I think there is a problem here, and you walk, you are just, uh, no, and you drive. My brother, my sister, you're going to find yourself in danger. May God help us to put on the right gear for our, in our lives, in our marriages, in our profession, in our ministries. Let me say, also in everything. Like now, I'm another. I am a gospel singer. My songs has never heard to that extent that I you know all this and all this. But you know what? Time will come. You know, my brother, my sister, delay is not denial. Wait for God. Wait patiently for him. Be still and know that God is God. That's in the word of God tells us in the book of Psalms 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am the Lord. <clears throat> when the children of the Israelites were, were stuck, before them there was a Red Sea, behind them there was a chariot of Pharaoh. They cried to God, you know, they complained to Moses. And Moses looked up to God and said, tell the people to be still and see the salvation of, of the Lord. Be still where you are. Don't move when the traffic lights in the spiritual realm are red. Don't just drive when the spiritual traffic lights are in yellow. Oh, you have to decide in the name of Jesus. May God help you to put on the right gear for the weekend. Father, I thank you. Holy Spirit, water this word, that it may go to that soul, to that heart, to that young man, to that business person, to that person who is anticipating joining the ministry, to wait until they hear a go-ahead from you, so that they don't live in regret. Even for me as your servant, help me to give the right message at the right time in the name of Jesus. I worship you and I glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Maybe you feel this was your word, because there is something you wanted to start, and you started to consult people, and they gave you the advice that is not in line with the word of God, you better remember it is you who, who accepted the Lord. It is you who God is going to count on. Just like when an accident happened, the driver writes that, the, the driver gets a ticket, the driver has to write that, 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 that reason and be able to draw. My brother, my sister, it, it could be you. If you're in that category, do you want to, I want to remind you that our God is faithful. And the Bible tells us very good, very well in the book of 1 John, that if we sin, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just forgive our sins. But if we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And you make him a liar. There is nothing bad that you can do, like making yourself, like you know than, more than your creator. So you are there. You want to tell God, forgive me for what I have done. Help me to hold on the steering wheel until I hear this is the way walking it. You want to say this prayer after me if that is you. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of where I have been trying to move when you have not said yes, when you have not put a green uh, sign for me. Help me to be patient. Help me to be sensitive. Help me to have a discerning spirit in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, God will forgive you. Now I want to pray with you. You who have never given your life to the Lord. You have always said it is not your time. Today is the day. This is the time for you to trust him. If you're in that category, say this prayer after me for your salvation by faith. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sins, of my timing, procrastinating. Now I come. Forgive me, dear Father. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you'll be transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start working in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. 
and also joining a group of believers where you can be able to be edified, to be fed, to feed others in Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember my weekly schedule, Monday through Wednesday, Inspiration Word, Thursday, celebrating in the kitchen, Fridays like today, putting on the right gear for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I take a break. You can, can bring you random inspirational messages. I want to encourage you, establish a home church. You need to have a mentor. I Oh my goodness, there is nothing so good when you have a mentor. Do they baby you? No. But at least you feel accountable. May the Lord God bless you. Remember to celebrate every moment, not just celebrating it, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment counts. Every moment matters. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share with other people. Remember to pray for me. How you do, do, do you pray for Pastor Florence? EGR, extra grace required so that I can be able to deliver the messages that God downloads in my heart. Faith free in Jesus' name. Thank you.